caught him in the act. You gotta pay rent. Hey, what's up, Reefers? This story started out beautiful, but unfortunately, it does not necessarily have a good ending. I just want to let you know in advance, I don't want to kind of build up the whole story and then just have you disappointed. With that said, though, in reality, that was what happened with this 10 gallon bunch of bills. And I thought it was important to share that people don't get an impression that everything is rainbow and unicorn and beautiful. Let's just jump right into it. Actually, one more thing before we go on, look at this awesome shirt. This is my aquarium cleaning shirt. So this is a fun little shirt that a designer sent me and he has a couple other funny saying like for example, beware of polytoxins. Another fun one is the MTS ones, standing for multiple tank syndromes. These shirts are like 15 or 16 bucks on Amazon and I have a link below if you want to check them out. Okay, no more detour. Let's get on with the story. At the end of this video, I'm gonna have some final thoughts and what's next. One of two. I got the deal. Under Madonna's Dim Queen. Very exciting today. We have fantastic. We probably got a tip off seeing that they have a really nice baby clownfish. Aren't you excited? Aren't you excited? Very excited. <laughs> hey! I thought you guys are gonna have a big hot running too. Oh, okay. <laughs> Dude, check it out. Oh, dang, those are nice. Aren't they? The pattern is definitely more interesting on, on this one, but the color seems more intense on that one, yeah. But, I mean, the color is also intense on this one, but it's, I guess like the back is going to turn black anyways long term. Okay. Um, yeah, the pattern is more interesting on this one, for sure. Yeah. Man, it's a tough choice. I know. Get both. <laughs> you know what? I think this one. Yeah, I, okay, I was thinking more. on that one too, the more I look at it. Yeah, this one looks too, like, too much like an average. Yeah. I don't want to say average. Yeah. He said you're average. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with being average. Guys, I think we found it. The perfect baby clownfish. We got a couple choices actually. These two are really nice color. Oh, that's it. That's it. They got a pair of uh, pairs of hips. Yeah. I think that looks a little better. Yeah. Oh, that one's nice. cute. That's yeah, a nice yeah. color. That one's cool. Oh, you're making it difficult, man. Yeah, they got a bunch of This one's cute. Yeah, that's a miss bar, right? Yeah, they got a miss bar. Oh, it's getting picked on. You got bullied. That's huh? what you like? Yeah. Why do you like it? Because got bullied. Hi. Hi. She is special. Also, I'm just like seeing you each other. Like I want both. Oh, the other can, the other one can. Okay, I will pick you. No. Yo, these guys are strong contenders as well. Should I do like one black, one red? Do you like the color? But they're gonna turn black though. Yeah, I think like the small one. You see how the orange? It's almost orange, right? Okay. So I think color for that one. The other one just like health. It just looks healthy. I don't even know which one. Was. This one right there. Yeah. That's yeah, pretty cool with the spot. yellow face. Yeah. Well, look at the spin. Yep, that's it. Yeah, I've been looking for one for a long, long time. Like, almost half a year now. Just uh, the right clownfish. Ooh, there it is. All right. Thank you. It's fun, right? Yeah. All right. Man is going for the... What am I going for? A dory? <laughs> My favorite clownfish. It's beautiful. Same so look on a shirt. Yeah. Where can people buy a shirt? That's a cool shirt. Uh, mighty. I don't. I don't know the website. <laughs> You're only getting one. Just getting one. Yeah. Okay. Why? We'll keep keep an eye out on something something different. Oh, that's a nice one. Fingers crossed. Hope it does well. We want to be friends. Look at them. Look at them. Hello. Okay. All right. What's up? What's up with this one? Let's get this. Right teeth. I think um, Emily really want to get the other clownfish because it's being picked on. So she's bringing the one that we got and it's trying to get them to uh, bound, real, bound real quick. Oh, they are going towards each other. Yes, Emily, each other. I really like this one, huh? Eh? Yeah. They give me all my I'm not giving any fish. Oh, then no. <laughs> ben just told me something awesome. Would you just like to share again? Algae and cyano. Dot dot dot. There you go. Oh yeah. See? I didn't know that. That's really interesting. 
So, so he could probably clear a spot in about like a few months, right? Mm. Just like once. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, straight in of no QT. Yeah, I always like to like quarantine it. This I've been one of my older systems. All right, we're gonna get you back home and do tank suit with such nice color. Moments later. Back home with the little dude. We're gonna temperature acclimate him for about 15 minutes into the budget tank. And then we're gonna do a drip and into the tank he goes. There he is. Welcome home. Man, this little dude is tiny, but perfect for the 10 gallon. I'll probably stay here for about half a year to a year before I can rehome him, I think. Especially just him. Mm. Looks good, eh? The next day. All right, fellas, I was freaking out because I did not see the clownfish anywhere. I even looked at the intake right there to make sure the, it did not pass away and got sucked, on, sucked against the intake. I looked around the tank, nothing on the ground, and then that's when I saw this. Here, I'll give you a better look. Look at this. The little clownfish actually went inside the rose bubble to an enemy after just one night. In my reef keeping, this has never happened. It usually takes uh, at the quickest a couple weeks. Now for reference, the pair of Mocha Vinci clown in my 45 gallon downstairs took one year to go into the anemone. One year. And this little dude took one night. Man, that's awesome. And by the way, I think we got a name for this little dude. So I, I was posting this on my Instagram asking for uh, suggestions on name. And one name really stood out, Sharkbait. As in Finding Nemo Sharkbait. Ooh ha ha. <laughs> I thought that was a cute name and it's kind of like a head tip to Finding Nemo as well. But back to this. This is just amazing. This is awesome, I'm so happy, dude. And one of the main reason I got a clownfish is because I want to keep the sexy shrimps away from the anemone, at least not pester them uh, all the time. So hopefully, little shark bait right here is gonna keep these shrimps at bay. But look at how happy he is. And this, look at this, this actually does not bother the anemone at all. Unlike the sexy shrimp, when the shrimp actually crawls on, the whole anemone just kind of wins and uh, close up. This one does not bother the anatomy at all man it's just awesome i'm just i'm just over the moon man i'm over the moon there's these little things in the hobby that makes it so great it's, it, it may not necessarily be for the big wins but these these little wins right here along the way that's what makes this hobby so great man dude i'm just so happy i'm not sure if you guys, i'm not sure if you guys can hear my voice i'm just so dude i'm just so happy i was expecting a couple months but he went right in two hours later guys look at this look at this can you see can you see this? He is sucking on a tentacle. Caught him in the act. You gotta pay rent. So he is sucking on a tentacle. So clownfish do this to kind of get used to the stinging cell of the anemone. I wonder if that's why the mouth looks kind of white and kind of uh, open. Yeah, I guess they just uh, naturally knows it to do this. Because I believe this little clown is kept it bred. Pretty interesting, right? Hey Reefers, welcome back. <laughs> this was a sad video to make because I was so, so captivated by this little clown. I waited and waited, I looked all over the place, I cleaned out the filter, I pulled up the corals, I just couldn't find him anywhere. I have, I'm just lost, I don't know what happened. He jumped out, but I looked all around the tank, I looked underneath cabinets, I looked underneath bags, everything, nothing. Maybe he jumped and then my dog ate him, that's, that's kind of dark, but... I don't think that happens because my dog is blind, it's super slow. He expired and then the shrimps picked him clean, but there's no way, the shrimps are like tiny and well, fish is kind of tiny too. So somebody suggested that maybe the anemone ate him, which is possible. If the clownfish did not have a good relationship with anemone, maybe the anemone would, cat, it would sting him and eat him. He has been staying in one of the RBTA, not in the other two. So maybe the other two got him. Maybe he touched the belly mini max because they're really aggressive. They have a strong sting. Maybe the mini, belly mini max got him, but then the anemone doesn't look any bigger than normal. So honestly, I'm really at a loss. I have no idea where he is. All I know is that I have not seen him for close to a week now. This was upsetting on many different levels. Number one, I lost a life. That's always, always super depressing. This hits me hard, especially since I've, <laughs> it's, it's weird to say it because I've only had him for like two, two, three days and I, I feel like I'm bounded with him. And the most selfish part is that I've waited so long to find the perfect little clownfish. I waited almost half a year. I kept holding out until the perfect one. I thought I found the perfect one. He went right into the anatomy and appeared to be adjusting so well. Only to two and a half days later, just disappeared. 
without a trace. Well, I'm sorry to leave the video on such a sad note. To change things up a little bit, how long have you had your clamfish, your oldest clamfish? The oldest one I got was about eight years. And the current ones I have are four and a half years. If you have clamfish that's a little bit older than these, leave it in the comments and let me know. With that said, thank you for being along for the ride and I'll see you guys next Sunday. Do this. I like that. Let's go.